Hello and welcome to the Gentleman's Guide to Gary's Mod Trouble in Terrorist Town. My name is Jish, also known as Handsome N on Steam, and this is the very first of four guides, The Basics. Uh, this is my first ever Gary's Mod video and also guide, so I really do hope you enjoy and you learn something to improve your Gary's Mod playing experience. So to begin with, we need Gary's Mod to play TTT, that's the game it's run on. It only costs $10 in Steam, and sometimes this decreases to $2.49 in sales. Secondly, you need the textures of Counter-Strike Source to play the game, um, otherwise everything will look bad, basically, and the textures you're missing will be in pink and black squares. Uh, to do this, you can either buy Counter-Strike Source, or you can search Google and download these textures. Um, and install them into your Gary's Mod folder. Gary's Mod, it downloads in minutes, and it's it's a really small file, but this means it's also lacking things. So once you join a new game mode or a new map, the server automatically uploads it to you. However, if you want to speed these up or, um, or just quicken the uh, time you connect to the server, you can go to garysmod.org and you can just search these maps and download them. So to begin with, once you're in the server, you want to hit F1, and it, it shows you this guide. It's all about traitor versus innocent, a small group of traitors are randomly picked, and together they have to kill all the innocents. The innocents don't know who the traitor is and who is not. The traitors need stealth and guile, and they are outnumbered. Uh, there are one, um, I believe, one traitor to every four players in the server, and there are one detective to every eight players that are in the server. Detectives are a kind of vamped innocent, they are uh, more powerful than the regular innocents. If you die, say you're killed by a traitor when you're innocent, uh, you will not respawn till next round, and innocents uh, will not know you're dead until they find your corpse. Traitors, of course, will, because they are the ones who've killed you. Uh, corpses may have information that leads to the killer, um, shows what whatever the player's role was, whatever they were, gun they were killed by, when they were killed, how long ago, and how they were. Here is a headshot that killed the innocent. Um, with a shotgun, I guess. However, if the player who has killed you has been killed, they know you're dead because all players carry a list of players they have killed themselves. So, once your killer is killed, they know you're dead, but they just don't know where your corpse is. Traitors can also buy special equipment and that helps in combination with the element of surprise and killing innocents. Their equipment menu can be opened by C or the context menu, whatever you set it to, and detectives also have access to a context menu. Not the same one, but there are some shared weapons slash tools that can help them to find traitors. Um, as an innocent, don't kill too easily. You don't want to kill your teammates, even if they've just made a small mistake. However, make sure you're shooting a traitor, because you don't want to let traitors go free. As a traitor, hide the body. As we said before, uh, the corpses contain very valuable information. Some detectives can actually find DNA, and this can lead back to you. Uh, communicate and cooperate, um, cause distractions, you know, all these kind of things. However, as a detective, search bodies. Um, as I said before, DNA can lead back to traitors, and you can find that if you're a detective. You can also see more things um, on the dead body than regular innocents can, and this can be very useful. This just tells you the list of controls. Q will drop your weapon, C will open the equipment menu, Shift to voice chat, and F1 shows help and settings, as I said before. So Gary's Mod has an inbuilt system to deal with those who are breaking the rules. It's called Karma. I'll talk about this later. It starts off at 1,000, and as you kill more and more teammates, which you don't want to do, it gets lower and lower, and this affects how much damage you do every round. Okay, so once you uh, spawn in the Gary's Mod world, uh, the server will be preparing the round. However, if you're killed before the round is beginning, as I just showed you, I respawn, and it's okay. These are the starting loadouts, um, the first one being Crowbar. I'll show you the uses for Crowbar. Uh, you can break wooden props, um, not all, and you can also, you know, you just have to look around, see what you can hit with a crowbar. You can break, uh, break stuff, but you don't, you don't want to break it there <laughs> because I don't want to kill uh, egg over there. You can't break metal props, of course. You can also hit players for 20 damage, and here I show you me getting killed by a crowbar, which is very embarrassing. You can also mouse two to push players. Um, as you can see here, I'm, I'm going to push him to his death. And and to hit things, you press mouse 1. Next we have Magneto Stick, uh, which is kind of like holding things. It's a bit weird. I'm not sure why they did it like this. 
So you press mouse 2 to hold something and you can only really hold stuff that are movable and that you could only really hold in real life. You can also push players with this and sometimes you can even kill them if you kind of fling it and let it go at the right time. You can also push things with mouse 1 and uh, push things forward and also you can hang bodies with your magneto stick if you're a traitor. This is also a way to know who's a traitor. I show here Egg has just killed me. Uh, this is also known as Tan Boy. Um, he's one of my friends. He just killed me and so he hangs my body up there so that other you know players can't see it because it's useful to hide your bodies as we already know. So next is holstered. It's kind of just hands in the pockets and this is just useful for hiding whatever you have. I'm showing, I'm demonstrating with Egg. He just looks so innocent, he looks so harmless. He's just so easy to kill. And no one saw me. Haha. <laughs> so that's great. And now I'm gonna hang his body. I right click and then mouse one to attach it to a surface with a rope. Oh look, his head is coming through, that's a bit glitched. But nonetheless it's okay. And he shouldn't be found for a while. Uh so look, look how innocent he looks. He just looks great, doesn't he? He's just walking around, you know. You can also hide what weapon you have because um say you've killed someone with a shotgun and the only player that's been killed with a shotgun is the only player that's dead. <laughs> Wait, that didn't make sense. Um basically if you just want to hide your gun, say you've killed some loads of people with the same gun and no one else has that gun, you can just go into host and no one will ever know. Um so here I'm just saying, you look really holstered, you look really good, it makes me feel safe, it makes me feel secure, would you like anything, you know, I'm uh, I'm kind of just messing around here, banter, the banter, because uh, when, when he brings out his weapon, you know, you don't want someone pointing your gun at you, like that, that just, that's just terrifying, when he's in holstered, it's just so much more calm, it's so much more easy, and you know, it's just it's just lovely, but I don't really see the use for hosted. I just normally walk around with a gun to be honest, but this is just if you want to uh get another perspective on it. Egg here police hosted is very useful, so I'm just gonna reward him because I think he's innocent and then watch him telefrag me, which is basically killing with a teleporter by kind of jumping onto me. yeah, that was probably a bad idea, so it's good for traitor tricks. Next we have crouch jumping. This is one of the most basic but most useful things in Gary's Mod. There are lots and lots of places where you need to crouch jump. You can't just regularly jump. So here, that was me crouch jumping. However, if I just try a normal jump, I can't actually get on. So crouch jumping works by not only going up, but bringing your legs up at the same time, making you technically jump higher, and then you can uncrouch and you get onto the surface. Next we have Torch. This is just ideal. I use this all the time. I have it on my, my mouse wheel when whenever I just click it, it just goes Torch because it's just so useful. Um, lots and lots of maps are, are very dark, so you need Torch to really see. Um, of course, it's sometimes useful to not have Torch so some people can't actually see where you are. And here I'm just showing where you find it. It's just in the options and you just you know select whatever button you want for it and you just select apply. So here I'm just going to show you, like, this is this is a well-lighted map, I don't need the torch, but here I really need the torch to see where I'm going, I just kill that detective. Uh, here are the most common rules, of course, what is any game without rules, and especially Gary's Mod relies on a lot of trust, and um, it really needs rules. So the first one is no RDM, this is also short for no random deathmatch, this is basically means randomly killing someone or randomly attacking someone without proof is also a very bad idea and this can also reduce your karma if you kill the wrong role, if you kill an innocent, it, as an innocent, if you kill a traitor, it's a traitor and that's basically what I say in uh, rule 2, don't kill your own kind uh, rule 3 is no ghosting, this basically means cheating by talking to those who know who the other traitors are, this can be dead people who've just been killed by a traitor or friends who are like traitors and they know who the other traitors are uh, rule, three is a bit, uh, rule 4 is a bit strange, it's like use, use names that are in English because, or, or you know, it depends on the server if you're playing in French server, you want to use a French name so that people can like say this name, they can call you out, uh, they can say, oh no, this guy killed me just before they died. Don't use nobody or an unidentified body because that's just dumb. So yeah, so just don't do that. So the next set of rules are don't 
revenge kill people. You know, if if they RDM you, if they kill you as an innocent for no proof, or um, if they just kill you just completely randomly, um, just find an admin. Admins are there to regulate the server. They're there to help. They can slay the people. They can ban them forever off the server. There you go. There's no more problem. So complain to the admins. Just keep complaining. And I will show you how to get proof on how they killed you. Also, don't kill AFK people. That's just mean. And it also violates rule 1. And your karma might go down. You might deal less damage like surround on a T round, maybe. So this is just checking if someone has broken the rules against you. And also showing what pressing tab does. It shows you your score and your karma. Um, so to begin with, what you want to do, at the end of a round, this comes up. You want to press events. You want to go down to wherever you were killed. So here I'm just checking for me. At that And... That means he's killed the right role, but he's the thing. That's checking my score, that's how many innocents I've killed. You do that by pressing scores, of course. There's also a more fancy way to do this, where you go into advanced, you enable developer console, and if you don't know where that key is, um, I'll show you just now. It's on your keyboard right next to one. Uh, it's right here, see? Uh, right next to one and over tab. You want to just hit that after you've de um, enabled it and you want to type in ttt underscore print underscore damage log underscore and then hit enter and you get a very very in-depth list to everything which happened in the round of course I'm not actually in a game right now so I can't really show you you have to look at that for yourselves so now basically when you hit tab it brings up this menu of um of things you can see and also look notice that my karma is is higher than 1000 so I deal full damage it, it lets you know how much percent if you have been RDMing and killing the wrong people how much it's gone down by um, you can also press on people's names um, not on your own as I seem to not understand here and you can kind of just click these things and so if you are uh, if you see them you can you can see what you've like listed for them. This is very useful if you can't really remember um, what you're meant to do. So next is a very very useful tool, uh, text tool, which is inbuilt into Gary's mod, which uh, new people uh, new people always ask me about. It's called Suit Zoom. Now what you want to do? You want to go into options. You want to scroll down to where I'm going. You see Suit Zoom. Now you want to edit the key and you want to enter to whatever key you want and you want to really be able to reach this in times of need or in times of danger because suit zoom is mainly useful when you're about to die and when a, when a trade is about to kill you so here you can see as soon as I pop open U for me um, you, you have this list of things so you want to press U1 uh, to say yes, U no to say no uh, uh, U2 to say no sorry uh, very quickly and um, and so here I'm just showing you, I, I really don't trust this guy, and you'll see for the right reasons. Um, so I'm constantly saying I'm with this guy, I'm, I'm pressing U4, 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 and as soon as he starts shooting me, I, you know, I pop open U6, I try and pop open U7, but of course it's not that easy. So next we're going to focus on the ancient art of parkour in Gary's mod. <laughs> which is um, it's very very useful actually you'd be surprised say you're a traitor and you're trying to escape from an innocent uh, that you just killed and you don't want like others seeing you so here I'm just showing you <laughs> this really really useful way and here I'm just messing around and then I start running on people's heads because I am a ninja and it's always good to be a ninja so I crouch jump on this guy and I'm running 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 there we go see that can you do that now you can also use props, use a magneto stick to uh, put it up. Look, so I kind of just, you know, crouch jump onto that. Crouch jump. I'm in an ideal situation to just, you know, ninja someone in the face with a knife. Or, uh, or snipe someone without anyone ever seeing me because they don't know how to get onto here. Because they aren't parkour ma masters. Um, so just, you know, jump onto that. You know, you can also jump and then climb onto ladders, it's quite cool uh, and then you can crouch and then yeah it's pretty, you know, pretty good to learn and look here I can just snipe that guy no one would see me because I'm just too ninja I'm just like, you know, trying to fail and jumping around it's good stuff I like fishes uh, so 
Also, props can be moved like that. Um, but then basically what I don't know is he's also good at prop killing, which I mentioned before as the magneto stick. You can kind of fling it at someone. But here, he's trying to get my body, but he's not a parkour master, so he doesn't really know how to get it. So in the end, he just settles for grabbing me with the magneto stick. So that's not too good. That's kind of pitiful. Next is very, uh, it's a very strange um, phenomenon. It's called Goomba Stomping in Gary's Mod. If you're a fan of Mario, you will like this. It's when you kind of jump on someone's head and you they take most of your fall damage. However, it's, I sincerely recommend you never use it to actually legitimately kill someone and never ever try it on a, tr uh, on a traitor round. Here, um, Sergeant Huggles is trying to demonstrate it and then he gets killed because we're playing on live maps here. So um, Luke, Luke is underneath and then basically this guy comes up, bang, and then I'm like, oh wait, I can try Goomba, oh. And then, you know, and here, you can see what Goomba Stomping says, it's, it's hilarious. Um, and if you can actually kill someone, it's, that's great. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're amazing if you, you actually legitimately kill people like that. Uh, traitor testers, these are on some maps, they're not on all. The most common one is called 67th Way. Here, Luke is trying to demonstrate, but I didn't actually know he was a traitor. And because we're playing on a live map, um, I was kind of demonstrating. I didn't really know what he was saying to me. He was sh actually screaming, I'm a traitor, I'm a traitor, let me out, let me out. And here, because it, it, it pops up in red. So I tried to save him, but of course, they killed me. Yes, it was RDM, but it was a bad server, so it's okay. Uh, so here, this time he's innocent, so it's okay. So I pop it open. He can't get out, of course. He can't actually do any damage to anyone. Um, he can actually teleport away, which is very useful if you're a traitor. Uh, but then they, of course, know the person who went in is a traitor. So now he's green. He's proven. So I'll explain what this means. I call him out with my suit zoom. U8. Uh, he's proven. He's proven. And then that guy goes and gets tested. Hey, you can also... Um, on 67th where you can actually break traitor testers if you're a traitor you want to do this so you don't have to get tested and then they won't kill you so here's the lingo of Gary's mod TTT um, there's only two I've already showed you what RDM means as well so that's okay so we have proven that means either you're tested in a traitor tester and the, re uh, the results show you're innocent or you've killed shot at or was shot by or even called out a traitor that means everyone knows that you are innocent and that when it comes down to it at the end of a round say and they're trying to work out who's the traitor and there's only like a couple people left and you're proven they'll be like no Jish is not a traitor and also KOS means kill on sight this is used with the traitor's name so as I say here if everyone wanted me to um, die because I was a traitor they'd type in chat Jish is, Jish is a traitor KOS him so everyone when they see me they just try and kill me basically unless they're my tea buddy in which case they wouldn't <laughs> your environment is actually the biggest killer surprisingly uh, the amount of players I see who are killed just by their own foolishness and by just falling into random things falling down including myself is it's astonishing so here I'm just constantly falling down a hole on a traitor round which I told you one out of four and traitors you know, it's the most fun for most people. I, I prefer detective. But it's just, that's already 40, like, almost, almost 40 health lost in just one round. Like, here I'm being shot by a traitor, and I'm trying to kill him, and I fall down. It's ridiculous. So you just want to be really, really aware. And ladders, ladders are terrible. What you want to do? You want to just go directly into them. You, want, you don't want to look up, you just want to look at them, and then hold W, or for me it's T, uh, for me it's T because I use T, G, F, H. So here I get, I fall into, I fall into the C, which contains piranhas that kill me fairly slowly and painfully. Things to do whilst, whilst dead, aside from watching our videos over and over, because you know, you can uh, tab out of um, Gary's mod. So here, I'm watching Sergeant Huggles, I'm watching Luke, uh, who just killed me actually, and I'm I'm just going to show you how you go into their view uh, because you can switch between third person and first person view and it's quite fun you know to watch Sergeant Huggles fail and to watch a traitor try and kill people 
and then get completely owned because he sucks at Gary's mod. Um, completely. Yeah. No hate. Um, you can also, as I show here, you can go into your options again. You find use item um, slash machine slash, you know, all that stuff. And you look at a prop that is magneto stickable, I, I reckon. And you can even get bigger ones. And you press, uh, for me it's J, for you it will probably be E. And you can kind of control them, and with your puncher meter, you can you know go up, you can move around. It's kind of fun interacting with the Gary's mod environment. You can sometimes even kill people uh, with your prop if you say were at the top of a ladder and you just threw it down. Um, you'd kill them. So I'd like to thank you very, very much for watching, my good sir. And I really do hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you want more because I'm going to ask you to vote for whichever guide you want me to make next innocent traitor or detective hint hint detective is more useful um, please subscribe to us we also make other videos such as minecraft we make team fortress 2 videos we make terraria videos and we make am um, no uh, we, that's okay. too scary we do not make amnesia videos okay. currently okay. because ah. i am too scared i guess um, so anyway, please vote in the comments. Please like, comment, subscribe, um, all that good stuff. We'd uh, we'd really appreciate it, and I really hope you, you know, can kill some innocents, I guess, and kill some traitors and detectives, and play well.